This video is sponsored by Sabbat Witch's Card Game, which is the card game that I myself invented and designed. And this is perfect for any witchy person in your life as a gift or for yourself. You choose your witch's path. This is your identity throughout the entire time of playing and it corresponds with one of the five elements. And throughout the game, you are earning tools, you're developing practices, and you can use those to cast spells. And you also have occurrence cards that happen every now and again, creating your initiation ritual, you set your altar, you build your book of shadows. You can celebrate the Wheel of the Year all year long with this really fun witchy card game. Hello everyone, Violet here, and today I'm going to show you my travel altar. So um, if you've seen my witchy altar tour video or my witchy home tour video, you'll know that I've got kind of a massive altar set up, just like in my home usually. However, we are uh, going to be moving, we're going to be on the go all summer, and I've, I've used this travel altar for vacations in the past, just for like shorter trips taking it with me, setting it up as needed, or setting it up for the whole time, you know, depending on the space that we're in. But I believe that I'm gonna be using this for an extended period of time this summer. So I wanted to show it to you and show you what I have in it. Um, but I've been using this particular method for years whenever I'm on the go. It's just having everything in a small little treasure box. <laughs> so um, this could be nice if you are someone also who is more of a closeted witch or perhaps just wants to keep your spiritual practice more private. You can keep everything in a box like this and then pull it out. Um, so let me show you what is in it. Okay, so to begin, I have a white altar cloth and I like to use white because it is just a neutral color. It can, you know, work with any intention. It's well loved and a bit stained, so you'll see that. <laughs> All right, so you lay that out for, you know, however much space you have or want to use. Um, you can make it bigger or smaller. And um, then in the middle, I've got this sort of like handmade pentacle that represents the elements. And on top of that, I place this rose quartz which you can also use for scrying, you can see on this side. So if you wanna do some extra divination work, um, this is kind of a tool that's available, but otherwise I set it right here in the center. So I think of this as being the elements and at the center is love and that's kind of the intention I set to begin the um, altar space. And then in this bag, I'm honestly not exactly sure. I believe these are salt crystals. I've had them for a very, very long time as a gift from this witchy shop I went to. Um, so I use this to create a circle around the perimeter and I just kind of sprinkle it all around. And this just makes it sacred space to me. You know, the moment these kind of encirculate the altar, it feels sacred. And so then in each direction, and I'll figure out, you know, what the cardinal directions are depending on my orientation, I will set um, an item that represents each element. So, for example, let's say that this is the north. In the north, I'll set a crystal to represent earth. And um, this is an orbicular jasper crystal, which just feels very earthy to me. So that goes there. In the east, I have a little stick of incense, which I'll also, you know, use to cleanse or um, whatever I, I, I want to use it with, but I set that in the east for air. In the south, I set a candle. I've kind of got a stack, you can see here, a stack of candles here and matches. These little um, tiny matches that you could use on the go and you can find them all sorts of places. I keep those in my travel altar. Um, I set this little um, soy wax tea candle in the south for fire. There we go. And then in the west, I have this little um, seashell, which I might fill with, with some water. And I set that in the west to represent water. And I can also use this with my incense if I want to, you know, put it out. I can put it out in here or if there's water, just kind of like put it in the water. So it's very useful. 
And then in terms of other things that I have in the box, as you know, we've got the space set, I just have some other tools. So I have a smaller set of prayer beads that I might use, I might practice with. Obviously I can use this for scrying, for divination, like I said. But another um, tool that I have for div divination is this small, um, tiny tarot <laughs> keychain. It is filled with the tiniest Rider Waite Smith tarot cards that you'll ever see. Look at this, it's so cute. Ah! Anyway, um, I spilled red candle wax on this at one point, so that's why it's sort of coated red, but you know, like I said, well loved. So those are our two tools I might set to the side to be able to use, um, but otherwise all that I have in here are extra candles. I put some more incense. Um, I definitely will need more than this, so sh I should add that in there before we go. And, and the little, little match sets as I come across them. So yeah, that is my travel altar. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What is your method for witchy practice on the go? And um, I'm also thinking about doing a video about um, creating an altar space in your journal. I think that that would be really interesting. So let me know if you'd be interested in that and hopefully I can share that with you soon. But otherwise, this is my plan for um, packing for our summer long trip, <laughs> which we might think of it as before we settle down in our new place, the log cabin mid August. So stick around for some more moving diaries if you would like to see my organization and plan and, and you know, how we fare as, as we go along. But otherwise, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you next time and have a wonderful day or evening, whatever time it is for you. Goodbye. I would love to invite you to enter the Enchanted Forest and become a member of my Twitch community where we do morning mindfulness practices such as meditation, stretching and yoga, breathing every morning Monday through Saturday, as well as Sunday arts and craft streams, and free tarot on full moons, new moons, equinoxes, solstices, special occasions. I so can't wait for you to be here and to get to know you.